What's up, YouTube? Doomwaves back here. Another video. This is a video response to Egg T11 138's Top 3 Tuesday this week, hosted by the Sega Stoner. Shout out to you, Sega Stoner. And uh, the question was um, your top three RPGs growing up, Lagaya, Saru, Lagaya, Ra, Saru. Um, asked the question, and uh, by the way, great list. Um, I haven't played any of those games, but I really, really want to. Um, I really need to get into collecting some uh, really awesome RPGs for the PS1. Um, I think I'm missing out, because uh, the only one I've got is Final Fantasy VII, and haven't actually played it. So, this is going to be my top three. Um, and a couple of them, you know, are bordering on whether or not they're even RPGs. Actually, all three of them. All three of them were bordering on whether or not they're RPGs, and here's why. I didn't actually grow up uh, with a lot of video games. Um, we had them. We had an NES, and we had an Atari. And uh, Atari 2600. I'll just go ahead and mention, I guess, this one. I'm pretty sure we had this game as a kid, because I, I remember it very va uh, very vaguely. It's um, Sword Quest Earthworld. Um, it's a very early RPG uh, for the Atari 2600. Um, if you know what you're doing, um, the Sword Quest games are really fun. Um, but you gotta have either you know you gotta get on the computer and look up what you're looking for, or you've got to trial and error, and it'll take you forever. You're looking for different items, and and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's I, I, this is not actually in my top three, but this is the only thing that came close to an RPG. Um, that we had as a kid, other than the first one on my list, my number three, and that's The Legend of Zelda. Now, there's an ongoing um, debate on whether or not The Legend of Zelda, or any of the Zelda games, or even RPGs, and I'm not really a purist when it comes to RPGs anyway, so I can't really even tell you um, what exactly makes an RPG an RPG, um, but I know that I really like them. And uh, so, yeah, Zelda was the next closest thing we had to an RPG, and I loved Zelda. Um, and Zelda 2 is actually um, much more of an RPG just because you're able to, to level up your health and your magic, and uh, it's quite a bit harder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just had a lot more RPG aesthetic than the first one did, but the first one did require a lot of work to get all of the items that you needed to, and you know, strong, collect enough hearts. So that that uh, Ganon wouldn't just totally destroy you um, in the end of the game. Um, so yeah, Legend of Zelda. We had Zelda two also, but it was too hard, and I never really played it a lot. Um, second one is another Zelda game, and uh, it's uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening for the original Game Boy. Um, this is actually my favorite Zelda game of all of them, and uh, for a lot of reasons. One, it was the first one that I ever beat, and um, it came with my Game Boy, so actually, you know, I didn't get Tetris. I got Game Boy, or I got Zelda. Um, it was the first one I beat, and I just really liked the story. Um, you, you went around to the different dungeons collecting the instruments, and then you used your ocarina and learned different songs to, uh, do, to do different things. And, and if you collect all the seashells, you get a stronger sword. And just all the little hoops you had to jump through. It was a very, very enjoyable game once I finally got... Got to got you know through what I was supposed to do. I got stuck in several places and put it down for a long time. But hey, I was nine. <clears throat> okay, and lastly, I don't actually have the original game anymore. Um, but I've got the DS version of this game, um, and it'll get the point across anyway. It's uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm with the Sega Stoner on this one. Pokemon is awesome, and to me, this is definitely an RPG. If nothing else, for the, the sheer fact that every outcome is going to be different. You know, every person is going to end up with a different set of Pokemon who know different moves and are different levels. And each everybody had to put the same amount of work into it. I mean, it's a very long game if you want it to be. And one of my favorite things about gold and silver, um, gold, gold being my favorite, um, was just... Once you got all eight badges in Johto, you could go and beat the Elite Four. Then you could go to Kanto and get all eight of those badges too, and then go fight Ash in the in the 
mysterious tunnel or whatever it was. I mean, that was just awesome. That You couldn't get Mewtwo, which was kind of a bummer. But oh well. Uh, there was enough Pokemon that were awesome in uh, the Johto region. Uh, Ho-Oh and Lugia, and then the the three legendary beasts. Um, they were a pain to catch. Nearly impossible. But yeah, so yeah, Pokemon Gold version. I have Heart Gold. I, I no longer have my Gold cartridge. I loaned it out, and it is long gone. And uh, those are the closest things to RPGs that I could say for a top three of when I was a kid. Um, and uh, I watched uh, Dahmer Cool Stuff's uh, video response of this video too. And uh, he uh, also did uh, the three RPGs growing up as a gamer. And well, I'm just going to add one more to the list because um, really I'm pretty new to RPGs anyway. Um, I've already done a list of my favorite RPGs. Um, it's all my video, a different video response on my channel. Um, but uh, we'll, my, the, I'll go with my first RPG here, um, aside from these that I already named, um, and that is Final Fantasy X. Now, a lot of you are laughing at me, I'm sure, as um, this is actually my favorite Final Fantasy game. I've played it through more than once. I've played it through, through two or three times. Um, I think all the way through, maybe just twice, but I know I've at least played it several times um and you know everybody gives titus a lot of crap for being a wuss and he is that's fine but you know i can't say what i would do you know if this were a true story what i would do in his situation i would have no idea you know uh, uh so if anything titus is very human um he whines a lot but i mean i know a lot of people that whine an awful lot so I'll, I'll give him i'll cut him some slack but by far, he's not my favorite character in the game. I mean, hello, Oren is in that game. <laughs> he's such a badass. And Kamari's pretty awesome, too. So, yeah, Final Fantasy X for the PlayStation 2 was the, f the game that got me into RPGs in general. And definitely got me into the Final Fantasy series, but also got me um, thinking, you know, that I want to play other <clears throat> other RPGs as well. So yeah, there's my top three um, favorite RPGs from when I was a kid. There it is. Doom Waves out.